All right, we're back with part two with Snowpiercer season final. As always, if you uh, like this channel and you like what we're doing, go ahead and subscribe to the channel, like the video, and share the channel and video with your family and friends. All right, so as we stated with part two, it's going to be focused a little bit on uh, more so on Layton's side and uh, his loyal list. So, yeah. Part two of this season final really focused on trying to overthrow uh, Wolford's control, which was going to be no easy feat, given the fact that Wolford had basically, for the most part, consumed full control over the train. He had the jack boots in his pocket. He's got people like LJ rooting for him. So, yeah, the odds were stacked against him, not to mention. Layton, the leader, was locked away by himself in isolation. But that all changed the moment uh, Roof got sent down there for saying that, yeah, I can't go with this, Wolford. You're taking it too far now. Which I might add was my proudest moment of Roof thus far. Oh, listen, I'm going to tell you. Roof is like she did a complete 180 for me this season she proved to me because remember all the first the first season i couldn't stand it i said it multiple, yeah. multiple times this she did a 180 like i like her now like i like her character i've seen her her character development has definitely done it for me. season two not season two but just the last two seasons the last two episodes i mean for this one you ever remember that meme that gif with the football guy, I was like, yeah, they had this in the first half, <laughs> but we came out the second half and fought strong. That's literally this was was this last two episodes because literally it looked bleak for Leighton in, in, in the game, uh, the first 50, 60 minutes. Mm -hmm. And they was able to turn it around. Oh, yeah. um, I mean, hey, Wolford did all this himself, honestly. And it played right into what Leighton's hands because, okay, you piss off Alex. Bastiana said his, her mother's going to be dead out there and all this stuff. And then you're not, I'm not going to go that way to try and get her. We don't need her anymore and all that good stuff. And so you lock her up. You lock up Rui. You're just turning everybody against you. And then your own people are just too lazy or drunk, as in the case of uh, Ms. Aubrey. And it, so you just left with, like, LJ and Kevin? Come on, it's Kevin. Push over Nancy Kevin. And then you have LJ, who's a psychopath in my eyes. She might turn around and kill you in a heartbeat. So the events that unfolded were just phenomenal. I mean, the whole think of them making contact with Melanie and dropping the little note to uh, Ruth and Layton and then Layton and Ruth just putting it out there yeah, to Josie let everybody know it's time mm -hmm. basically and then just for them getting out of that room with Ruth trying to uh, con the man and getting her more stuff and putting his arm in there they, th they threw the stuff at him and just using the rope which is like I did not see that part coming yeah. And the brutalness of Leighton having to stab this man multiple times to kill him for them to get out. It was crazy. Uh, Ruth really, really was a savage. Like that whole scene yeah. when they got the swords. Oh, yeah. Her war cry and all. <laughs> was not Didn't even let him get the three. Didn't even let him get the three, which was hilarious. That was really hilarious. Oh, yeah. Wait, but, let's, let's, let's just pivot to the main point. R.I.P. Oh. Melanie. For sure. Like, no, 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 no. Oh, 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 oh. You, you cutting out a big chunk right here. Good stuff. I mean, they obviously, we obviously get to the, yeah. But I mean, no, 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 no. But you, you, you're cutting out a big chunk here. They set this up properly. You had one engineer and on Big Alice. You had another one on Snowpiercer. Both of them on Layton's side controlling the train. Mm. Alex toying with Wolford, saying it. That yeah, she sees the error of her ways basically, and that she supports him 100. percent Melanie's no longer anyone in her basically, just for so she can get out the cage. 
and turn on him even more so. And then the whole plan of them, we're just going to try to slow down the train enough so we can uh, go out there, get Melly, get back on. All of this being orchestrated by people that once were loyalists to Wolford and, of course, people like Lee, which is crazy. So, yeah, we get to the point of everything's going in motion, everything's happening in the plan. Train starts to uh, jiggle a little bit, shaking all that. Poor is getting a little nervous there. Poor, uh, poor Alex had to be the one to play just like her mother, Melanie, and, that's, and uh, do Wolford's betting to call the engine. I didn't know Jesus had to ruin it once again. <laughs> once again. At that point, I'm sorry. I was hoping Alice would just stab LJ. Just stab her with the fork. Knock her off the train. Something. Because then that caused this whole commotion on uh, the engine. Which, mm -hmm. honestly, let's take back a step and go back into episode six. Remember at the end, Alice uh, at the back of the uh, engine there on Big Alice and Melanie just looking at the train. One end is screeching to a halt, trying to screech to a halt and all that, and you just see smoke and sparks flying from the uh, track. And Melanie just seeing her daughter banging on the glass. And we now find out what was happening. Mm -hmm. Well, for somehow, got into the engine room on Big Alice, and to our surprise, but not everyone's, flipped that thing and turned it on full gear, basically. While Snowpierce is trying to break, which caused all that to happen. Might I add, though, that almost cost the train to derail, though, because it was kind of going around the area where going too fast could cause this destruction. Oh, yeah, for sure. Definitely. That was crazy. Now, I did predict that what, it had to be some kind of uprising and Wolford was seizing control or something like that was happening. Turns out. In a way, false things were correct. Well, for one shot, seize control that again after losing control. Again, in a way. And I did predict Melanie would not survive through season two. And she did die in season two. Presumably. That's all I can yeah, say. You can actually can say presumably. I mean, they didn't find her body. Which is that that is one thing. We're, we're getting, we'll get there. We'll get there because. We still got to go with Leighton and Wolford facing off yet again, which I thought, honestly, seeing Leighton there by himself, I thought Wolford was just going to try and uh, lunge right at him. Had Jack Boots uh, try to storm him, and then him come in at the end, just try to kill Leighton. Keyword was going to be tried. I thought they would have a whole bunch of uh, Leighton supporters just come running out of nowhere at the last second, surrounding oh, okay. them. That would have been interesting. But this way, this approach was even crazier because, as a lot of people knew, Wolford was working on Josie. He thought he would be able to control Josie. Mm -hmm. Had to go up on the top to try and take control of the engine, but not. Josie is a team late member. Proud team late member at that. But then, uh, yeah, so. That whole scene over the, at the aquarium was crazy. Josie breaking the, breaking through and everything just instantly freeze. The CGI uh, was amazing. Oh yeah, but you know it's crazy because that does happen. Like when you start to when the water starts to freeze, it expands, and so it caused the whole train to break apart. Mm -hmm. I mean, the original plan was to break the train free and separate it without causing that car to break off. But um, in the end, they got what they needed to. Only thing I'm worried about now is our uh, front under the train. Did he survive this? Because, you know, he was fighting with the Jackets at yeah. the time. Because I guess Wolford kind of seen something like this happening as well at the same time. But uh, I do love the fact that Miss Aubrey got knocked out of this part and is now hostage. Ah, I went from being the, in charge of the night car to hostage. How the mighty have fallen. 
Yeah, man. She did it. She's another character who did a 180 this this season. I was hoping that she was this whole time. I really was hoping that um, Ms. Aubrey was just playing the long game. Mm-hmm. Turns out it wasn't true. Mm-mm, not at all. This is something that uh, Wilford has over her. I don't know what you want to call it, whatever. It's Some weird just, connection that they have. Yeah, it's just a shame, honestly, because she has so much potential. Now, granted, we don't know what's going to happen with her in season three. All we know is now trains has been separated. They went mm-hmm. off their uh, Melanie found out basically she had it was not enough power to keep her warm and keep the drives warm so she kept the drives warm but where did she go now that's that's what I want to know I thought she might have been in that little uh shop to find a way to be where the rents were that's what I thought at first warm. but we don't know Maybe she went out in the snow just to wander and let herself freeze to death that way, which would be gruesome. But that's, what the, the, but that's what the letter was. That's, that's kind of what the letter was. Yeah, but she I'm didn't like, mention that she was walking. She just went to randomly walk in the snow. Yeah, but I mean, she could have walked in the snow with the suit on and came back in. I, we don't know so what she did. Hopefully, season two, they somehow find her body at some point. But the big thing in season for the end of season two to me was them finding the locations that were warm enough for them to live in. Mm-hmm. It's gonna be interesting to see how they try to get there once they get back to the train, because now it's the race for this small amount of cars, I think it was about three or four cars to catch up to the rest of the train. To try and see this. Might be I, I know it's a small number. It's less than 10. Yeah. Completely. Yeah. They didn't give a full number there, but um, it's very small. And of course, you know, we don't know what's going to happen with Wolford taking, being on another train because of the fact Layton's already threatened. Well, if you do any harm to anybody on this other train here while we're away, we'll kill... Uh, uh, Miss Aubrey here. She don't deserve the best anymore. She's just Aubrey now. Um. Hey. Well, well I just can't wait to see though what happens. Mm-hmm. Oh, and then at the end, we got that season three is already in production. Yeah, I know. I'm hoping that it's coming out summertime, like around the same time as uh, the original came out. I know it's not going to be exactly at that time because the original came out in May and here we are just days away from April. It could happen, but I think we'll probably see it June, July, maybe. Be nice. Mm -hmm. But overall, they did a phenomenal job. The cast, the writers, the crew, the whole production of this. We even got some good views of the train like uh, when Got to see the uh, Northern Lights, I would guess, because I can't even fully tell where they were at, but yeah, while the train was going, it was all interesting, but I still can't get over some of the betrayal that happened in season two. It's wild. We still don't know what happened to the rest of the tale, because they didn't show too many people in this final. They stuck to a certain number of characters, and that was it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So we still don't know what happened to Pike or any of the other uh, town members, for that matter, for the most part, or even uh, some of the other loyalists to Wilford that were still alive. Got to see. I was kind of hoping Kevin would have got, got it again. But I guess we got to wait till season three. Let us know what are your predictions for season three in the comments below. Do you think Sean Penn's character, uh, Mr. Warford, lives through season three? Or does he not even make it past episode one? What do you guys think? Let us know in the comments below. Till next time.